Good morning, Martians. Well, today I was taking a look at the new life support system on Take On Mars, and I think I figured it out. It was a little weird, and we're still getting the no power on this display for some reason. Nothing I can really do about it. This is pointed out by one of you earlier, and uh, there is power. Got two generators out outside. And pardon my speech, I'm still a little bit swollen. But, so what I did is, first I filled these with oxygen, and it wouldn't work. And I tried to get a look at this little screen up here, there are some bad, most of them say okay, and then there's bad over on the right there, I can't really get close enough. Everything says okay now, every now and again you'll get a, a seat, there's one right there, pretty weird. But anyway, so what I did, nothing would kind of work at first, so I had to make a whole new map. I tried to update one I had already, it didn't work that way, so I made a whole new map. There's a few things I'm going to show in this video today. Well, anyway, I filled it up with oxygen, that didn't work. Uh, because it needed empties to put the carbon dioxide and, I think, nitrogen? Although I don't see it right here, right now. Oh, that's because it's being mixed into what I'm breathing. Yeah, nitrogen. Although it's zero right now. I did have one of these had some in it. I don't know what happened. I did have to go back to external atmosphere at one point, so I probably jettisoned it out. Um, because I had to change the airlocks. I had a couple different versions of airlocks. I still have a problem with those. But so, all these were oxygen. I left two empty when I first set this thing up. Then I hit, you know... 0.3 atmosphere to see what would happen and it went up about here or whatever and then I was like well I probably want one atmosphere so I clicked that so I'd add more oxygen it didn't have enough so I went ahead and in the editor spawned an empty and an oxygen full so I you know for the demonstration purposes um, and it sucked them all out of here the oxygen and was putting it in the room right here Oh, I see, it is using the nitrogen back. It took it back in, okay. You got your oxygen count, nitrogen. Carbon dioxide's coming up blank, so that we're probably healthy. I don't know if there's an alarm or anything. If something goes wrong, like if I was to tear a wall out, I could do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, but also, I'm, I'm, you have to have O2 here for your suits to charge. So I may put another couple over here. Remember, these are half sheets. These are half sheets, so they're the only two half sheets in the thing. So if you put one, you got to put two. See what I'm saying? Um, but that's a lot of carbon um, carbon dioxide there every time I do this. So that's why I put an empty here. Now this would be great for that um, a resource um, cable mod. You could probably run it. And I think my power, let's see if, yeah, my power outlet's right here. So theoretically, these tanks could be outside running through here. And then, you know what I mean, just leave that open and, and run it over to, one, to a couple of these. Um, and then use the in and out format. So that, that might be a thing. And I noticed it didn't depressurize when I took that out like it used to, so that's pretty cool. You can't color these, but I just happened to know it was there. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's that. So, I got it. I'm able to take my helmet off. It says, safe environment. And if you try to change something, it'll give you a warning. Like, if I, you know, if I say stop, it'll stop processing, and you can just use what you got in the room for a while. That might save power. Um, do you really want to do this? It, it doesn't really say it's detrimental to health but if I do this it gives you a warning you must have your suit on and all that so I'll leave it on for now but another issue I had was freaking airlocks man oh and by the way there's a bug right here I couldn't get up to step I mean I could earlier and then suddenly I couldn't so let's see if I can do it now and you can't jump or climb or nothing so I got that big old first step there see if I can go up it no see so there's a bug there, just be aware of it. 
Um, that's a big impacted thing right there. And you can't jump. I'm trying to jump. I'm trying to climb. It's really not, not. I tried to squat down. Wait. Oh, I can squat and jump. Did it work? No. The squat. Oh, squat and climb. Okay, look at me. I'm a dumbass. I can't even get in my own building. There we go. So there's a workaround for their mistake on the stairs. And, um, yeah, we have to worry about that. Now, here's the airlock. I have two different versions of this. First, I had a door here. It went down the corner. There was an airlock down there. And I think I pointed out before, and cycle still doesn't do jack. So I can't pressurize the chamber. It still says danger. Now I can open it. And the safe area goes with me. So it does look like volumatic oxygen follows me through. But I can't save that oxygen back. See, these are, these are matching up. Um, and once again, I have to lose this air. So it's kind of weird that you can't, you know, depressurize a freaking chamber. So now I just wasted more air. See how it, I lost it now. It, it wasn't enough to help me here. So no matter what, you're going to lose oxygen every time you go in. Yeah, that's not going to work. So I put a different one in down here just to have a double airlock and yeah you cannot do anything with that obviously you probably wouldn't want to here because you're going out but seems a little weird that you can't pressurize an airlock i mean isn't that the whole point of a goddamn airlock so no matter what i'm going to be losing atmosphere when i go in and out so yeah, a little bit weird so i dropped in a descent vehicle that i haven't looked at yet but so this is kind of my setup. I've got two power sources. There's a small building I threw together real quick. Decided to use some of the hallways. But the double airlock, I'm not really sure why it says cycle when it doesn't cycle. And you might notice something. The creative printer's gone. That's the first thing I noticed. So uh, that should be an option because some people like it, some people don't. I didn't really see it in the options. But it could be an option. So yeah, creative printer's gone. Um, I did not really search out the what else was changed in there. I know we played on, um, before this last update, we played online, a whole bunch of us in uh, you know, there's a lab table in there now. You can grow food. There's a stash. I'm not going to take a tour, though. Um, I didn't see that they added, you know, human waste containers to the bathroom. Or really anywhere. I want to see if one of these tanks became human waste. That would be interesting going to need that for fertilizer. So I doubt there's an empty container up here. Take a quick look. Um, no. A couple of methane. We already had fertilizer though, so I'm not really sure you know, how we're going to collect that. And anyway, my main thing was, I wanted to cover was the life support system. And point out that the creative printer's gone. There is one in the habitat, I believe. That's because I spawned that in in the editor. So it makes sense I can't cycle that one because there's no oxygen right here. Yeah, look at these doors they upgraded. Isn't that amazing? So, will I be able to... No. I do notice the numbers are different. So, would I be able to cycle this one? No. So, you're going to lose O2. So, I figured I'll make a small chamber. 
that way I'm losing uh, a lot less. And again, sorry for my swollen face, sounding kind of weird. Maybe I'll put a uh, an effect on here so it won't sound so goofy. Now let's see, what did we lose? So I'm not sure if this is supposed to go all the way up or not. Do I need more nitrogen? Maybe I need nitrogen. Let's try that real quick. Oh, look, it is using nitrogen. It sucked it in. So it looks like... Sucked it in. It says it's safe, though, but how safe is it without the... Nitrogen still at zero. That's storage. Hmm. So, 88.6%. It does have more oxygen to use, so it hadn't gone to 100. I'm not really sure what the optimal mix would be, but we can do a couple more and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, they filled up and went down. Oh, one went down. Oh, there goes the other one. Okay, so we don't have near enough nitrogen. So I wonder what the proper mix is. Oxygen and nitrogen. See, oxygen went down. So did it pull... I thought maybe it pulled more oxygen to make room for the nitrogen, but I guess that's not how it works. Did this go up any? Huh. Might have to experiment with that. Let's do a couple more. Okay. I did three that time. Okay, it's using it all. Look at, it. Look at these gauges. Still says it's safe. Oh wow, these are changing. Point three is hundred percent oxygen. Ninety seven and three percent carbon dioxide. I guess that's good for plants. It used it all. How much nitrogen do you need? Does this have to be balanced? Let's try that again. Sorry, this is interesting. It looks like it's using it all. I noticed they made the Space Engineer's yellow outline on everything. Okay, use it all. What the hell? So maybe it has to be 50-50 or something? This is going up. And that's one atmosphere instead of 0.3. Okay, well, there you go. We, we know how to... Oxygen, we need to be, take out the carbon dioxide and whatever else impurities are going on. But yeah, just kind of wanted to show that, and this is how I set it up. Um, we may need more tanks. Barrels. So yeah, thanks for joining me. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you next time.